you know, as I said to our team after the uh, after the game, like any group of people, we're about as imperfect as they come. Starting starting with the head coach, but uh, boy, I love coaching this team because it's as tough, courageous, and resilient team as I've ever been on. Um, we're certainly not flawless. But we play extraordinarily hard, and if you do that, uh, you get a chance to win every week. That's a really good team to beat. Um, you know, we just made one more play than they did. Expectations aren't, uh, you know, particularly high to be honest. And he is obviously, you know, he's a Division One character. He's, he's a great kid. He's, uh, he's a tough guy, just like the rest of them. And uh, you know, he's just done a really good job the last few weeks. Josh and Nandi, talk a little bit about how you guys think he did containing Dale Williams tonight. Um, no, Dale Williams, you know, is a great player. Tremendous talent, you know, all week in practice. You know, we were stressing the league, you know, containing him. Like we know it's gonna be tough to get, you know, some good shots on him. And even if he's gonna make some plays, you know, out of pocket. Um, so we just start you know, corralling him, you know, playing our base defenses, um, and just being sound, you know, in our coverage, you know, he's from my level and the second level. And um, when he does break into the open field, you know, just you know, team defense. You know, that was that was the, the theme of the week. You know, Eleven guys getting to the football. He's a great player. He made some plays tonight, but uh, I think we did a solid job of uh, you know, limiting his effectiveness. What was your reaction when they pulled him from Park? Do you have any reason to expect that? Um, no, I, I wasn't expecting it. Um, I'm not sure uh, the reason. Um, you know, Park, I mean, he's a great quarterback as well. Um, I mean, they just wanted a, a change of pace. Um, and they had to switch up their play calling there at the end. Um, Ricky, you talk about that. practicing it all week and uh, didn't really think, Bert, Bert wasn't really open at the time uh, when, I, when I was getting ready to throw the ball, but um, I, I honestly thought I overthrew him. Um, had to put it in the, to where the defense couldn't get it, and the um, funny thing about that was, you know, Coach Murphy might not, might not like me telling you this, but uh, Bert came up to me before the game and he goes, if they call if they call the reverse pass, you gotta throw it. I don't care if, I'm, if it's double coverage, triple coverage, whatever it is, if they call that play, you gotta throw it. And, uh, so, <laughs> kind of go with that Michelle, you just have to put it in a place where the defense couldn't make it, and Bird just made a fantastic catch on it. Rick, did you play any quarterback in high school or anything? Or is it really the one that... Uh... Play, play a little bit of quarterback back in, back in Texas. Pretty was outstanding, uh, all, all purpose quarterback in Texas, really outstanding. And we recruited him as a quarterback, figuring that you know, he could go up the field someplace else faster. He would, but he, he was tremendous high school. Will you try to audition for the get the job? Back? <laughs> <laughs> I'm very happy to watch you. Was that the first reverse pass you have thrown here? I'm trying to call. There was there was one last year. <clears throat> Coach, did you see something with him fighting and stuff? Or you talking about the reverse pass? Yeah. No, it's just it's it's one we throw every year. We dropped we dropped one in the Princeton game last year. Um, you know, Ricky 
threw a good ball and, and we dropped one and uh, it's just great to see a little bit of uh, redemption. <laughs> Tim, you talked last week, they made one more play than we did today, we made one more play than they did. You did it with uh, Andrew stepping in for Mott Andrew in the new center. Cam yeah. Wright didn't play. You know, we, we were a little bit on offense like the team of misfit toys. You know, um, you know, we lost, we lost our starting tailback in, in preseason. We lost the uh, starting left tackle when we lost our starting right tackle when we lost our starting center when we lost our starting wide out. That's what this is, again, this is an unbelievable group of kids. And, you know, the, uh, the thrill ride isn't over. You know, these guys, I, th I think I aged about uh, 10 years tonight. But this team will fight. Uh, they're extremely coachable. And uh, just a very courageous bunch of kids. Very enjoyable group of guys. Was the swing pass designed to be forward, the one that ended up being a It comparable. should be a forward pass, and it was, you know, very, it was a very close call, obviously, and, uh, you know, a very critical mistake for us to make off of offensively. We, uh, you know, we played very poorly offensively at times, uh, and yet kids hung in there, and when we really had to, uh, you know, we really made some big plays on offense. And what were you thinking at halftime with all the, the uh, penalties in the first half, and yet you still have a lead? No, I just told the guys, I said, hey, you know, you guys are all good football players, and a lot of you guys are playing for the first time. You're going to lose center, you get a couple sophomores to tackle. And just, you know, our whole thing is believe in yourself. Just, just believe in yourself. It's more important than all the other stuff. Just exhale, let it go, get on the next one. And I thought the offensive line really took control in the second half, did a great job. Chances were of you getting to a game and kicking this year at the start of the year. Um, in the start of the year, I thought I had I thought I had a much better chance at um, starting for kickoffs. But David Mohunter, he's before his injury, he was hitting the ball probably better than that ever seen that this week, week in and week out. So I kind of I was kind of a little bit more resigned to just being a backup for the year. And so I, I started focusing a little bit more on field goals, just trying to work my weakness throughout the season. And then. He went down one week in practice and didn't really say anything. And I didn't know if I was going to be starting that week or not. And then it's, I mean, nothing, I guess nothing's really changed since then because I'm still starting. But yeah, I mean, I don't really know what's going to happen going forward either. But it's been, it's been a really fun three weeks. Do guys treat you different because you're a kicker or do you have to, have to wearing your uh, spurs, so to speak? Or? I mean, I think a little bit just because we're not, we don't get to have everybody here in practice. But at the end of the day, I mean, if, if I do my job, I think everybody supports me. For any of the players, it's one game at a time. I've heard you guys say it a million times. You couldn't win the championship today, but a loss was going to be really, really big and really difficult. Can you talk a little bit, somebody, uh, about how important it was in the big picture to win the big game? Well, you know. Yeah, I mean, like you say, it's one game at a time, but you know, we knew that we, this was a must win game. So, especially to us, it's, it's with the six seniors here, we said, you know, we're not going to lose at home. We lost last week, and then started a winning streak this week. So, um, so this was definitely a must-win game for us. We guys went out with that mentality. Coach, you said coming into this game, going from the top three team in the league, ten lost by twenty-seven today. Where do you feel like you used to kind of stand in the league after this week? To be determined. I mean, the bottom line is, it, it doesn't really make much sense to talk about where in the league. The only, the only place we are is in the present, and the present is get ready for Columbia next week. Do you feel confident you can compete for the league title, you know, given all the injuries and everything? 
All I feel confident about is that we're going to line up, we're going to go out and play really hard and play really well next week. How long do you expect this break to be out? Possibly the season. What's in your head? Um, you heard his knee in practice. Coach, Buddy was asked at the end which was harder for him two years ago or tonight. Talk a little bit about this game and your, your coaching against somebody that, that you care dearly about. And yeah, Buddy Tegan's uh, is, you know, probably the greatest human being I've ever met. You know, uh, he's family. He's done an amazing job uh, at Dartmouth and, uh, and had a, a bit of bad luck. <coughs> But I know this, his players love playing for him. You would ask people who play against them, they're extremely well coached and a very tough team. And, and now they're getting you know, real Division I athletes. So the culture has changed, uh, the team has changed, and uh, they're a really good football team. They're as good as about anybody we play, for sure. Josh, how hard was it you know, to get back into game speed after the 15 minute break for the injury? <coughs> Both mentally as a guy who had to sit out a year for injury, um, but also you know, physically getting late, you know, sitting there for the um, That was definitely you know, a little adjustment, um, you know, for the break. Um, you know, I was glad to hear that uh, the player's okay. Um, obviously, anytime you know, an injury like that happens, you know, it takes you back and you know, makes you realize you know, the game we play, you know, and the you know, consequences that come with it, and you know, the work we put in. Um, you know, but I thought. You know, we, we had the right mindset you know, in the break, you know, once, you know, he was uh, hard off the field, um, you know, we had to get back to playing the game. Um, you know, Darman did a great job you know, responding, you know, did a little better job than us. Here's the, the big punt. If you get it, you have tremendous momentum. And, and Real simple. You know, I made the call. It's bad. When it doesn't, you don't convert, it's a bad call. End of story. Bad call. Or defensive. You know, Paul's one of those guys that uh, you, know, you have to watch a real lot of film to appreciate. And uh, everyone knows he's fast and athletic, but he's a tough physical kid. He's, uh, he's tireless. And he's an outstanding. There's a lot of outstanding running backs in the league right now, but he's, he's certainly up. Was the game plan coming in for him to run as much as he did? Yes. Uh, why do you see on film? Oh, well, no, it's not so much on film. It's just that we, we really need physical team, we need to be a balanced team to, to beat the best teams in our league. It's as simple as that. You can't come out there and chuck the ball 50 times and, and really establish a, um, an identity. Nandi, can you just talk about, about the defense's ability to come up with plays that we need to at the end of the game, keep the team in the game?